nurses are very important in, he in healthcare. Let's say, for example, the word itself, nursing, means to nurture. Mm -hmm. Just like our mothers are nurses at home, yeah. in the hospital, the first people you meet before any other thing is the nurse. Mm -hmm. And without the nurse, it's not very easy and convenient for patients to go straight to the doctor to say, this is what I'm going through. Mm -hmm. yeah, Most yeah. times you find patients wanting to talk to the nurse and say, please help to him. Mm -hmm. So, okay. and then nurses have, um, nursing is like the, the bond that holds every other member of the healthcare team, like the uh, um, the, the do medical doctor, mm -hmm. the pharmacist, and all these people. All these people go through the nurse to be able to uh, give that main service they need to give to the patient. Mm -hmm. Without the nurse, it's not easy for every other one to work. Tell us why would you want to do that? It is very, very important. Everybody is needed. Okay when it comes to development, mm. community development, national development, mm. everyone is a stakeholder. Okay. And so we need to be empowered. Okay. Everyone needs to be empowered. The girl child needs to be empowered. Mm. The women needs to be empowered. In mm. fact, the women are very important. Yeah. They are important stakeholders okay. yeah. in empowerment, yeah, in, this in, this in this development. This okay, uh, can you start with, um, what do, we need to know about the rights for women and girls. Can you just start with that? For Apart from that, the government has done a lot in trying to bring out more legislation. I think more like there has been a lot of agi ag agitation mm. for legislation to protect, mm. you know, this group, women, girls, and even the men. Mm. So you have the Violence Against um, Persons Act, which was mm. um, passed in 2015. Which, and it wasn't passed at first because it was protecting mostly women and, and the National Assembly said, no, we okay. have to protect everybody. Yeah. everybody. So men were brought into it. Mm. And you have that act, you have the sexual, um, the sexual harassment act, mm. you have child rights act. Mm. You have so many different, you know, mm. Mm. yes, that have been passed. Okay. But I think a lot of people don't even know or are not aware of what their rights are. Mm. So when you have issues pertaining to a particular, you know, group, mm. it's mainly those who are in power, who are more powerful, who are more um, empowered than you that would, you know, take away your rights. Mm. So for the women, I'm saying that there's the fear of whoever is harassing you. Okay. That's what stops you from speaking out. Mm. There's the mm -hmm. fear. It's either the father or the husband or the, you know, brothers or uncle, or uncle, uncle. and um, teacher. It, mm. it has to be the fear, even workers. Mm.